abort and return. It was a worthwhile experiment, Paul. It failed. It was my fault for telling Quinn to adjust the program or have her negate the changes. I don't think it would matter in the long run. You know that. What you're looking at isn't Madeline. It's stimulated air molecules. The database of her history and experience. But it isn't her. And it never can be. Do you know why I killed myself? I was afraid Mr. Jones might have listened to Nikita and spared me. If he had, I'd have been relocated. We would have been apart forever. Yes, that's true. Neither one of us could have functioned satisfactorily alone knowing the other was alive. It would have been a constant distraction. This place was at its best when it was both of us. But you're the leader. The one who makes final decisions. Takes final responsibility. And I can assure you the real Madeline admired you tremendously. She, or I, was wrong to take my own life. It robbed you of the chance to make the call. You know the codes to my file? You know it has to be done. My database has to be annihilated permanently. This time, the decision has to be yours. Goodbye, Paul. Goodbye, Madeline.